Hello, what is going on YouTube? Lexilla here. Welcome back to another Need for Speed modding video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a quick mod that was um, created by my good friend Urbe Neon. You should go ahead and check out their channel. I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. But um, let's get straight into it. So basically, we're going to be talking about the future of Need for Speed modding. Um, and how this is going to benefit us as modders. So... A bit was um, was talking about like this idea of like how they wanted a mod um, and they wanted to like add cars into the game, which of course everyone's wanted to add cars instead of replacing into Need for Speed, like since like Cab and that's what Underground Two, you know, all that type of stuff. And it turns out um, it needs to be under cover, and I'm pretty sure you can do it in Project as well, seeing as it's like near enough the same engine. You don't actually need to hex edit the cars, you can actually go ahead and add them straight in, and I'm going to show you this right now. So, I mean, these are known as missing strings. Okay, so you've got the Ford Focus, for example, which... Um, I'm pretty sure uh, it needs to actually add the strings in for this, but... I think that's something he's working on. And basically, um... The Ford Focus is basically like a placeholder for the Honda Civic. Um, the Ford has got, um... Not sure what that is. I think both of them are supposed to be like the Honda Civic. You get the hatchback and you get the normal one. Um, not sure what that's supposed to be a placeholder of. No idea for that. No idea. Yeah, that is for the. I think that's for the shop. You bit like the actual the Mustang they did because I think that's for the old Mustang. Um. Shelby GT fat no, I don't know. I, I, ne I never really explained which ones it was, but this is definitely a missing string. Um, it's a car that was it's a placeholder for the C6 instead of the Z6. And if I go ahead down the car list, you can actually see all the cars are still here. So like the Pontiac GTO, the Hemi, um, Dodge Challenger, Viper, Charger, you know that type of stuff. And then you got your Europe and stuff like that. They're all still here and stuff so I'm pretty sure I am um, with his actual version of the mod he has actually like got all this like side and stuff but um the one that he gave me is still like a work in progress it's like an early stage of it <coughs> so it's like I mean as you can see there's a Ford focus on here but if we go into Europe I don't know if the Ford Make sure this stuff's still in there. But it's it's awkward for me to explain, but basically this is like the future of new speed modding and they'll be adding cars and that it's like if I go ahead and go through the save my save games really quick, I have too many, apologize. Um go for, I think it's this one. I don't know if I've still got it, so you'll have to bear with me with that, but Woo. I don't know if I've got it on here. Um Okay, no, I don't know. But basically, I was able to add the, su um, not super impressed, the Buick, Reno, GN GNX, the um, the car that uses a Camaro body, but it's like sort of different. It's got exposed headlights instead of them covered up. I basically was able to add that into the game, but for some reason it doesn't appear now. Um, I think I broke something. I don't know. I'll try and fix it at some point. But uh, yeah. This is a pretty cool mod. Um, <clears throat> hopefully, when the Need to Speed Toolkit comes out, we will actually see cars being added into the game and all that type of stuff, and we'll get new stuff, which will be fucking awesome. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I'll leave the link down to their channel in the description below. And uh, just leave your thoughts in the comment section down below, guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Remember to smash that notification bell to get notifications on every upload I do. And if you're new to the channel, why not consider some subscribing? We're currently on the road to 500 subscribers. We're currently on 275, so the channel's growing pretty well. Um, apologies, I haven't uploaded in like three days. I've been busy and had like internet issues, so there's not really much I could do there. So apologies for that. But anyways, I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye for now. Peace.